Guys, I'm really excited about this one because I had a great squat workout. It's not that I hit PRs or did anything really noteworthy, but I'm already starting to feel the effects of each workout compounding into the next. I've gone over my split, upper, lower, uh, push-pull legs. That's what I'm doing. Push-pull legs twice a week, so six days a week. And I'm essentially repeating the same workouts twice a week and just progressing linearly where I can. Last week, I, I mean, I actually started my first session was a week ago. This is my third squat session in a week. And I just worked up to 225 for a set of 15. I was out of shape. It's a new threshold. Didn't have to push the envelope. It sucked. I was out of breath. It was uncomfortable. Did not like it, but knew that I had to push through. A couple days later, I come back, started at 225 for 15, then ran a pyramid, 12, 10, 8, all the way up, about 365, I think, for 6 is where I stopped. Today came in. I was just going to see how I felt. I wasn't going to try to force progression. It's just, where do I feel like I can improve? Rep endurance improves super fast. So every time I come in, my recovery is a little better. I don't get so winded. I can go a little bit farther. The burn doesn't set in quite as fast. So today I decided to stay with 15s as far as I could comfortably go. 225, 275. This is 315 for 15. Now I've certainly done more, but even when my rep endurance was at the best, where I took the 415 for 20, I couldn't do these repeating sets of, of high reps because one effort and I'd just be done. But I was absolutely blown away by uh, how much better I'm already recovering in between sets. And this is a time where I should be in flux because I did my short little gear cycle going up to Worlds. I was off for almost a year. Now I'm back off, I'm on post cycle. I'm gonna be off for another probably six or eight months realistically. And this is one of the reasons why I want to go back to light endurance work, because it's hard to focus on strength, strength, strength when your body is taking these steps backwards. So I'm really enjoying this different threshold. So 315 for 15. And then I just I was going to match my 365 for six from last week because I figured I already did enough extra work. I don't recommend you try to improve every set in every exercise across your workout, improve where you can, improve where it makes sense, and always leave a little room for next week. But this felt good, so I took it to eight. And, you know, gun to my head, I had a lot more. I probably could have done that for an all-out 15. But, um, you know, live to fight another day. This already represents more weight, more work. I mean, this is just 405 for a token set of three. This was just to feel the weight on my back. Felt very different with my legs heavy and full of blood. Um, just wanted to get a taste. And then I shut it down and I wish I had a better visual representation of the pacing of how these progressions go. Cause I have a flow chart in my head. I have an idea for how it should feel, how much effort, when do you increase the weight? When do you decide to increase the sets? And it's hard for me to explain it to you because there is so much complexity. It's so much easier if I can walk you through this workout to workout, if I could have you do it. Because even watching me and the difficulty that this appeared, it looks like nothing was really that difficult so far, but my legs are on fire. Like I, I was sweating, you can't see, but my shirt was drenched. I was out of breath. I was getting that athletic asthma because it was like 50 fucking degrees in the gym. This was a very, very hard workout for me, even though it looks like the reps move fast because I don't grind, because I don't get in the habit of slowing down. So everything's moving good, good, good. By the time it looks like it's moving poorly, I'm done. I'm toast. So I can't really explain to you clearly how it should go, what it should feel like, unless you run through it yourself. There's a lot of trial and error. Um, there's a, a, a lot of applying it, seeing what happens, and then tweaking as you go along. Just I, I can say it over and over. What you need to do is set a baseline of work, something that's manageable. If it's a new threshold you're working in, it doesn't take a lot of effort. It doesn't take a monumental stress for you to get something out of it. And then all you have to do is just tick up week after week after week. Part of it is working harder, yes. Part of it is more effort, but also part of it is just mathematically exposing yourself to more stress. So that extra set, the extra couple of reps you did, you can look and be like, okay, I did more than I did last week. I did more than I've done in recent history. That 405 for a triple was nothing. They moved very easily, but I haven't squatted 405 in probably five or six weeks. That's enough to cause a stress. So that's, I can't emphasize that enough. You always have room to progress. And one of the reasons I like these splits, even though I'm not on this year round, is that I can train instinctively and intuitively, and I don't have to white knuckle every progression I make, every decision I make, that it, it's, you progress in endurance and in uh, the exercise arrangement 
fast enough that you can continuously increase something in your workout. And then by the time you're in really good shape, then you can hit the gas on another level. And that represents a whole new stress because you're not up against your wind or your endurance. So I did a couple more sets here than I showed. I did minimum three sets of everything. Hamstring curls lit me up after those RDLs, uh, but RDLs move very well. I was happy with that. Um, 315, 365, then I did another set of 315, then I did the hamstring curls. Uh, they were just lit up by the end of that, and I really chicken shitted out on these uh, hack squats. But again, I, I did so much in the beginning, and this is already more work than I've done. I'm, I'm not I'm not pushing it yet. There's room. I'll push the hack squats when I'm better conditioned. I'll do it down the road after I've already topped out my squats, after I've, I've already really pushed the envelope on the primary movements. There is always room to grow. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave your questions and comments in the comment box. Till next time, this is Bromley. I'll see you.